Astrophysicists are absolutely baffled by new data and say something is very wrong with the universe. So do we have to throw all our assumptions about physics out the window? That's what you'll find out in this video, so stay tuned until the end and if you like it, I'm very happy to get a thumbs up and a comment, because that will make the YouTube algorithm show this video to even more people. Thanks a lot guys and welcome. Something is wrong with the universe. You could get that impression watching the news right now, so here's my tip. Watch less news. But that's not what we're talking about today, we're talking about cosmology. New data of the Hubble telescope show, our understanding of the universe does not fit together behind and in front. To understand this, here are some basic facts about what we think we know about cosmology. According to the prevailing view, the universe began about 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. Everything that exists, everything that planets and stars are made of, everything that you are made of, was squeezed into one tiny little point, a so-called singularity. And then for extremely ominous reasons, this singularity suddenly began to expand. The universe gave birth to itself in the Big Bang. In the beginning was as small as a pea then as a cookie. Oh, a cookie then bigger and bigger. What was before the Big Bang, nobody knows. There are a lot of theories, but it is completely unclear. Feel free to write me your opinion or your best ideas in the comments. What was before the Big Bang? I'll try to respond to as many comments as possible, I promise. Since then the universe expands until today and one would think now that this expansion would weaken sometime. After all, the Big Bang was almost 14 billion years ago. If you blow once violent balloon, it would collapse also sometime again. But the expansion of the universe is accelerating. The galaxies are moving away from each other at a faster and faster speed. This is relatively inexplicable and that is why astrophysicists have developed the concept of dark energy. There must be some mysterious force driving the acceleration of the expansion. But what dark energy is exactly, no one knows but it must exist in one form or another, otherwise the universe would not be growing faster and faster. So far so good. That is very roughly summarized the current state of cosmology. The father of cosmology is Edwin Hubble, the most famous American astronomer, who discovered in the early 20th century that most galaxies are moving away from each other in the first place. Two things that are important to this video are named after him, the Hubble Constant and the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble constant refers to the current rate of expansion of the universe. Since the acceleration of the expansion is changing, as we just discussed, you need this very constant. And can't just specify it with a number, like 80 km per hour or something. Has any politician actually called for a speed limit for the universe? The Hubble telescope was for many years the best space telescope that mankind had and it is still in use even if now the new James Webb Telescope has started its normal operation. Through the Hubble Telescope, we have learned an incredible amount about the expansion rate of the cosmos, and the position of individual galaxies, so that the Hubble constant could be made more and more precise. But here it comes. A team of researchers has now painstakingly analyzed data from the Hubble Telescope that has been collected for over 30 years. Hubble has been exploring space for that long. It was launched into space in 1990, a year before I was born, insane. And this analysis of data has revealed, everything we think we know about the expansion of the cosmos doesn't add up. Something can't be right or we haven't found an essential detail yet. Because between the expansion rate of the universe currently and the expansion rate of the early universe shortly after the Big Bang, there is a discrepancy that can't be explained by theories about dark energy or current knowledge about the Hubble constant. None of our existing cosmological theories can even begin to explain why the Hubble telescope data spat out this difference between the expansion rates of the universe at its respective stages of evolution. With such realizations, which confuse the understanding of the astrophysics fundamentally, one usually asks the following question first. That was surely a measurement error, was not it? But in this case, you can pretty much rule it out. Given the large Hubble sample, there is only a one in a million chance that the astronomers made a mistake due to a measurement error. Indeed, the research team evaluated over 40 supernova explosions that occurred over the entire period of the Hubble mission.
supernovae, or the explosion of stars at the end of their lifespan, are fantastic for determining distances in space. The leader of the research team, Nobel laureate Adam Rees of the Space Telescope Science Institute, said, We have a complete sample of all the supernovae seen by the Hubble telescope in recent decades. We get the most precise measurement of the expansion rate of the universe by the gold standard of telescopes. Exactly how high is the discrepancy? According to Professor Rees results, the Hubble measurements for the expansion of the cosmos are in the close range. At about 73 km per megaparsec. However, if one takes into account the observations of the deep, i.e. the early universe, the rate slows down to about 67.5 km per megaparsec. Megaparsecs, by the way, are an astronomical unit of length for really, really large scales. Now, of course, the question is how to explain this significant discrepancy. And why even this largest evaluation of Hubble data, with respect to the expansion rate has not brought clarity with respect to the Hubble constant. In principle this means that there is a gigantic cosmological factor which we do not know yet. Some factor of the physics which provides for these extremely different expansion rates in the local, and in the early universe is still absolutely unknown for us. It's a bit like trying to play soccer without knowing what shape the ball is. Does that make any sense? Interestingly, Professor Rees is very relaxed about the whole thing. He states, it is best not to look at the expansion rate by its exact value in terms of time, but by its effects. I don't care what the expansion value is exactly, but I want to use it to learn something about the universe. So in other words, I know I don't know anything, but I can build on that basis. But there is reason for hope. Because the new James Webb telescope will be able to study the cosmos with unprecedented precision. Like Hubble, it will make distance measurements using supernovae and so-called Cepheids. These are stars that have extremely periodic variations in their brightness. Using the relationship between the luminosity and the period of these stars, they can then be used perfectly for distance measurements. I think that James Webb will give us an answer to the Hubble paradox and revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. The catch is that even James Webb will need a few years to do this, because it takes a long time to collect enough supernovae and Cepheid data, to then be able to draw meaningful results regarding the expansion of the universe. But don't worry. When it is ready in 20 years, I will let you know. Let's move further into the depths of the cosmos, because we discover always new, unbelievable things, like TON618, the biggest black hole, right? There's something even bigger out there. And you'll see that in the next video, so be sure to check back. And if you want to support my work a bit, treat yourself to one of my t-shirts, real meteorites or a plush planet in my space store. Every purchase supports my work a lot, thank you. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.